Hey, what's up, guys? Yeah, so today, uh, let's talk about a very special inequality called the Burstyn inequality. Uh, Ber I think Burstyn is a famous guy, right? There's uh, many inequalities, or sorry, many, many problems that uh, in the mathematics that are named for is Burstyn. Okay, so uh, this one is very simple. So uh, the proof is not simple, right? Because we will based on the binary, uh, sorry, the the Bennett inequality, and we will just say the Bennett inequality is true, and then we derive the Burstyn inequality. So if you want to see the Bennett inequality, then you can check out my other videos. Okay, so the settings that the x one, x two up to x n are uh primary variable. So very variable with plus or minus one. So each one is probability have plus one or minus one. And uh, for every lambda epsilon greater than zero, the probability that one over n, i from one to n, xi uh greater or equal to epsilon is s or equal to two times exponential minus n an epsilon square to divide by two, one plus epsilon divided by three. Okay. So basically you can check that this is oh, the same as I only bound the one side. So one side, okay. So which is this? Uh, I think I only need to bound the one side. Okay. Oh, oh, oh sorry about this. I see will jump. Okay, so this is the 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 question that we need to do. Okay, so the idea is very simple. We use the Bennett inequality. Okay, so if you haven't seen the Bennett inequality that you can check out. So basically you're asking Z1, Z2 up to Zn are ID variable. And the expectation value of Z are zero. And then let's say the second moment is sigma square. And uh, we are doing the, we are, the, you can check the probability of this Zi sum or greater than T from I to one to N is bounded by a uh, a very strange function, which is this exponential. And uh, uh, let me show you that. Yeah, so this is the previous, uh, you can check out my pre uh, other videos. But basically the bound is that, right, minor writing as minus n squared divided by m squared phi of t and minus n sigma squared. And uh, let me just quickly uh, see whether I can remember it. So it's m t n sigma squared and the phi of x, Phi of x is one plus x log one plus x minus x. Okay, so our goal is just to to use this inequality, right? So we just use uh by the way, m is zi is bounded by n. Okay, so we just use uh Bernoulli results, right? So in the Bernoulli, we just replace we just replace every uh zi. Okay, so assign each zi to xi. And the uh, m is one, right? Because Bernoulli variable and the sigma square is also one. Okay, so you can so we check we get the probability of x i greater than t i from one to n is there. So you put the exponential minus uh minus n phi of uh phi of what uh t divided by n. Okay, so let's change t to be epsilon. Okay, just for the convenience. Or well, maybe change it to n epsilon, right? So we can change it n, n epsilon. Okay, so everything is deleted because it's going to show of minus n phi of epsilon. Okay, so the problem is that how this how these results will 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 be this? Okay, right? Because we got minus n phi of epsilon. Okay, so now the final the trick where is a uh, very difficult is that uh, I will post another videos called the Pink's curse inequality that I will post. The, this pink square inequality will give you a very strange inequality, which is very non-trivial, is that uh, your phi of u is defined to be one plus log u, so one plus u, log one minus u, minus uh, log one plus u minus u. This guy is greater or equal to uh, u square one plus two uh, u divided by three. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this guy is really, really, really weird. Okay, and the proof is very non-trivial, okay. Uh, you you can check out to prove by uh you can check out to prove by yourself. I think this is true for u greater or equal to minus one, and uh this will show up in the Pink's curse inequality. So Pink's curse inequality is another inequality which is also very difficult to prove in a probability theory. Okay, so uh yeah you you can just you can just 
you can just believe this is true. If you want to see why it's true, that I will. You can check out my pins curse inequality video. That uh, you you then you will know why this is true. Okay, so our goal is to very simple, right? We just ask what n of r phi epsilon is. Okay, and at least n of phi epsilon will greater or equal to uh this, right? So will greater or equal to uh will greater or equal to this epsilon squared divided by two plus epsilon divided by three. A test n. Okay, so this is why these guys can be uh it's basically uh things phi squared or equal to right. So this will get less equal to minus n squared epsilon divided by one plus two epsilon divided by three. Uh, I think there is a square. Okay, so minus n epsilon square divided by one plus two epsilon by three, and uh, yeah. So, oh, sorry. I think I miss. Uh, I think I missed one part. This is like two. Sorry, two. Yeah, this one is two. Yeah, you can. So this inequality is very difficult to prove. Yeah, this in this 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 is very weird. You can yeah you can check. Yeah. Okay, so this is two. Okay, so once you have this, then you then you should be you should get this, and uh yeah sorry there's a no uh, yeah five of n yeah so there's no this, and uh yeah because n five is n epsilon square two plus two epsilon divided by three so these guys minus n epsilon square two plus two epsilon divided by three. Okay, so yeah this is the proof this is burst inequality and I hope you guys subscribe to my channel if you want to see more probability interview questions also an interview probability uh inequality videos okay see you guys next videos